Hi, I'm Doug Handler. I'm the Chief U.S. Economist for IHS, and I'd like to talk to you about some new data that was recently released from the Bureau of Economic Analysis. Specifically, they released two batches of data. One is a first comprehensive view of second quarter GDP and its components, and the other batch of data, which comes out only every few years, is a revision of all the GDP history going back to 1929. These historical revisions can be very important because sometimes changes in the way BEA measures GDP and GDP elements causes us to rethink our basic assumptions about the forecast. So let's look at the revision first here. Uh, pretty much we survived a bullet. Lots of times these revisions can really have the meaningful impact on the outlook. This time that was not the case. We really discovered that the growth over the past 10 years or so was about two tenths of a percentage point faster than was previously measured. Most of the quarters, including the recession periods and the recovery periods were also largely about the same as they previously were as well. Perhaps the most significant difference in the revised data was in the first quarter numbers, which were revised down, first quarter growth was revised down from 1.8% annual rate to 1.1% annual rate. So as an economist leading a forecast process to me, we survived a bullet here. There's really no news in the revision that will cause us to materially change our immediate outlook, which was for a gradual acceleration in growth over the next few quarters. That had existed last month, Based on what we've seen on the new data, that basic type of forecast is still in place. So let's look a little bit about the second quarter in general. The new data that just came out also showed that the second quarter growth was at about a 1.7% um, annual rate, which itself is uh, kind of lackluster, but largely in line with expectations. In drilling down on the components in the second quarter, Consumer spending and business investment spending actually grew fairly healthily. They grew at a fairly sustainable rate as well. Uh, no material problems in that sector overall here. There are a couple things though, that we're going to be looking at going forward uh, to determine the actual detail in the economic outlook. One is government spending. Prior to the second quarter and the two previous quarters here, the government sequester had taken really a big bite out of economic growth in the overall economy. And that bite, though, wasn't really apparent in the second quarter data. So that raises the question of what's going to happen in the third quarter data. There are a lot of scenarios that we need to examine. Mostly, will government agencies seeing the end of their fiscal year in the calendar third quarter, are they going to decide that they need to cut budgets even more than they had in the second quarter? Or, in fact, do we declare that most of the adverse effects of the sequester in calendar 2013 are over, we've survived it, and we move on? That'll be one thing we'll be looking at. The other impact is actually in the trade sector as well. A deteriorating trade balance actually subtracted about eight-tenths of a percentage point from that 1.7% growth. So had trade been neutral, we would have had maybe a 2.5% growth in that quarter, which isn't bad. But what happened in the second quarter is that exports grew. Of course, a good thing here and suggests that the global economy now is in better shape than it was in the prior couple quarters. But it's also a little troublesome that imports grew as well. And that's something that we um, need to examine as well uh, to see you know, what the nature of that consumer investment demand I talked about uh, will be. Will they be buying domestically produced products? Will they be importing more energy? Will they be buying inputs uh, from abroad here? And the result of that sort of analysis also, I think, will shape the near-term flavor of our forecast. So, bottom line is, I think the tenor of that forecast was slowly accelerating growth over the next few quarters is intact here. We need to look at some of the details for the exact composition and to get the more specific numbers here. But by and large, I give the economic data uh, a rating of fair with respect to the economic economy. 
consistent with our prior forecasts and consistent with the assumptions that we've made so far. Thank you very much.